At that time, Wyoming was full of dinosaurs. Most were the lumbering plant eaters like Diplodocus and the armored Stegosaurus. Far less common were the carnivores, but this hasn't stopped them becoming infamous, like the Allosaurus. These fearsome predators were the T-Rex of their day, and Al was one of them. But like every living thing, these monsters started off small and delicate. Despite this, science can still tell us something about how Al probably started life. <coughs> We're very familiar with how life begins for humans, but you might be surprised to learn how a Jurassic carnivore raises its baby. Evidence for this comes from remarkable fossils found on the Atlantic coast of Portugal. It was in this place that we found, uh, in 1993, a small eggshell like this that we figured out there was from a dinosaur. Further years, we have dug it and we found more than 100 eggs that make one of the biggest nests in the world. But more significantly, they found something which could tell them who these eggs belonged to. The most rare and sought after fossils of all, tiny preserved bones of baby dinosaurs, still curled up inside their shell. We have found more than 200 embryonic bones. With them, we can say exactly which kind of dinosaur we have. In this case, it's a meat-eater dinosaur, a carnivore, and we have almost all skeleton here. And if there were eggs, there must have been a nest. Bizarrely, there is information about this in the fossilized eggshells themselves. Under the microscope, scientists can identify holes in the shell. Their large size allows maximum air for the embryo to breathe, which tells them that these eggs were buried, packed together in an underground nest. Scientists know this because there are animals alive today that do the same thing, the crocodiles. This is not surprising, because crocodiles and alligators are one of the dinosaurs' closest living relatives, and with scaly skin and a mouthful of teeth, it's easy to see the family resemblance. <laughs> 